All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're going to be taking out the TF5 Nicholas Class DD, the destroyer. It looks like we got the monster from Lost in our, our smoke right now, coming out of our smokestacks. I think that's on me, actually. So I noticed that the enemy has a cruiser advantage. They've got two Clevelands. We've got one Cleveland. Um, and we have a battleship advantage. And we have, like, more destroyers, although they have a tier 6 destroyer, so... We've got two more than them, and honestly, I think we're favored. And, uh, looks like me and this Cleveland here. Oh, that's very nice. Thanks, mate. Mr. ATL Knoll. I wonder if he's a Seminole from Atlanta. Because I'm a gator from Florida. But, you know what? Every now and then meet a nice seminal they do exist baron baron is he trying to say i cannot have kids because i'm barren see what i did there jokes for days dad jokes for days but we we do have torpedoes obviously we are a destroyer but it's american torpedoes so i've got a range of 5.5 kilometers generally i have to get up and close and personal so there's a congo kuma there's a Omaha going over here. I'm not sure if this is actually like the best idea to do, but I'm just kind of doing it right now. Let's see where that Congo goes. Still going that way. Phoenix. Shooting at these fighters. Hope to get my fighters, you know, a little bit of an edge there. That Phoenix is continuing to go the other way. He is the one I'm worried the most about right now. Come on, let's shoot some planes down. Let's support these fighters. Look at these. And that Kuma, actually. Ooh. A Miyogi. And a Cleveland. Oh, shit. <sighs> we're gonna smoke and we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Maybe... Oh, look at that. Shot down a plane. I'm actually pretty impressed. Because destroyers pretty much... You know, the early tier destroyers do not have very good anti-aircraft fire. And I don't want to deal with that Cleveland, but you know what I do want to deal with is this Omaha. Let's see how accurate those are. Switch to HE since it's, it is a cruiser. I would like to light him on fire. A little behind. Torpedoes being fired, he is. Oh shit. What was that? This Cleveland's shooting at me. Time to run. Wow. We set them on fire, so we did our we did our purpose. Look at those fires. That's what I did with my HE rounds. I am starting to use HE more. Um And you know what? I think we should be able to kind of get up here and deal. We could turn around. Yeah, we're gonna turn around. Oh shit. Man, was that the Miyogi? Or that Cleveland again? Cleveland is going somewhere else, though. Oh, shit, another Cleveland. All right. And I destroyed it. You know what? Wow. Lesson learned. He was probably damaged, but he was unable to put out his fire. Right? As a result... Um, he probably, someone probably took him down really, really heavily. I hit him once and set him on fire. So, every time I think I know what I'm doing, oh shit, I learn a little bit more. We've got, we've got a destroyer coming through here. I saw him. I saw you. I know you're there. Ah, oh, I should have fired. Oh, that's weird. That's really strange. That's quite unusual. Do we hit with torpedoes, though? That'd be fantastic. Mr. Cleveland number two also taking shots of opportunity at me. Are those torpedoes going to hit? Probably not. He's dropping smoke. I don't think that lead torpedo... It, it looked from here like it had a decent chance. Minikaze over there. We're just running through this side. I don't. I could follow over there and it would definitely be safer. Oh, yikes. 
Is he even shooting at me or just... I think that was blind. Like, I don't know where he's going. But man, Cleveland's and the rate of fire are just impressive. I do want to go somewhere, but like, both the areas that I would like to go are guided. Or gu guided. Guarded by Cleveland's. Alright, so I'm going to gauge estimation. They're five kilometers away. I could fire torpedoes randomly. I have an Omaha, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna follow him in. It would be fun... Ooh. Yikes. That could be really bad for Omaha. Man. That is unfortunate. He might even get finished off by that Cleveland. That guy's still hiding. I'm just gonna fire blindly. I do that a lot because the rate, you know, the reload rate on torpedoes isn't too bad. Oh god. This could get pretty bad. I'm gonna target him, see where it wants us to fire torpedoes. Now I dumped off my... Yeah, it's adjusting because he's slowing down. Are those primaries or secondaries? We're likely... Oh, wow. Secondaries, I think. Alright, you know what? If we're gonna go down, we're taking Cleveland with us. Oh, wow. I really wish my torpedoes... We sunk that one. Didn't get to watch it because it's getting pretty intense over here. Oh, this is a Mutsuki. I don't think he can see me. Really banking on these torpedoes being done soon. Aha! I think I've in. I hear torpedoes. Torpedoes away! Oh, this is not good. We're definitely gonna die to this Cleveland, because we're stuck. Yeah, but he's focusing on us. If he is, I think our team has an advantage here. Now, if I can survive long enough... Nope. <laughs> you know what? Two kills to your five. Let's see. <laughs> one of our kills was to one single HE round. So we may not have done a whole lot of damage on it, but getting a kill like that? Pretty sweet. We played overly aggressive that time. Um, I figured, like, the way it was going, my team was in a better position. We had three people, I think, in the enemy cap point. Let's check that out. But, man, I tell you what, every time I think I have an idea of what's going on, like, something crazy, like, what just happens. Oh, look, someone was, like, too focused on killing Baron. We ended up winning. So, pretty good. We were killed by a Cleveland. We took out a Cleveland. Almost took out a second Cleveland had we not blindly fired torpedoes. Sometimes it works, other times, like, it's gonna kick you in the butt. Um, how'd we do overall? Second place? Not bad. I tell you what, man. Let's see. Let's see the damage. I love to see this, man. 13 hits. <laughs> we did... <laughs> I don't... I don't know, man. Were those AP at the end or HE? I thought... I must have switched over. I It's it's in the heat of battle, dude. Oh. I like... I need to definitely work on that. Was that a scout plane? We shot down a scout plane. We didn't even shoot down those fighters. But we got 15,000 damage from two... Just two torpedo hits. And then 4,800 from 13 different armor-piercing hits. Maybe on that Cleveland. I thought I was firing HE, but in reality I was firing AP. I'd have to look at it again. Credits and experience. I'll oh, check this out. I've never clicked on that before. With premium, we would have got a nice chunk. Let's see. Damage caused. Yeah, we've already been looking at that one. Personal score. Two torpedo hits, one of which caused flooding. Set someone on fire, which killed <laughs> that guy. And uh, we sank a Cleveland. And you know what? That's always a win. But I think we have enough to f uh, upgrade this bad boy. 
So let's check that out. And take it out in another game. Oh yeah. Actually, see, this is the this is the the question. Our rate of fire goes up, but the damage goes down by a little bit. 210 for HE is quite considerable. Your A guns go up, but what's the real good upgrade, I think, personally, is the torpedoes. You lose a, a fraction of damage, but the speed goes up 9 knots from 56 to 65. That is huge. I'm definitely going to be doing that because then they have less of an opportunity to move. So we had a relatively um, short-lasting first game. Let's see, do we want anti-aircraft? No, we're going to save it for the torpedoes because our anti-air is relatively pathetic. How much experience do we need? 48 experience. Oh, to get the, the guns upgrade. Anyway, we're going to take this Nicholas out for another run and see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're back in the tier five Nicholas. Let's see, where would it have me lead my torpedoes? I can't really fire them. But basically, I went to this point because I was hoping if someone decides to come through this slot, I'm going to fire my torpedoes. Now, if Mr. Farragut dumps his, I'll dump mine right after. Ooh, we got a Nicholas. Yeah, this is prime torpedo. Alright, let's turn around. Fire on the designated target. Hopefully they come around. Ooh, Mr. Kuma's doing it. Nope, he's going backwards. So those torpedoes may have been ma wasted, masted, wasted, masted. What words am I saying? Oh, Cleveland's coming? Pfft. I'll support him. For sure. Ah, see, Mr. Kuma did the same thing, the little torpedo dump. But if the Farragut and I support the Cleveland, if he decides to go around, this could be pretty good. We got a little bit of ways till our torpedoes are rearmed. They're still dumping little blind torpedoes. We both have the same idea here. I'm not expecting to need mine. He did his. Fire one salvo, right? Screw it, we're dumping all of them. Six torpedoes away after the four from the Farragut. And, um, I guess we're gonna just keep looping around, man. Omaha dumped his two. Just so many fish in the water right now, it's all ridiculous. Stations. Requesting fire on the designated target. Requesting, oh. We got a Nicholas coming through. Alright, but I upgraded my guns so we have a really good high rate of fire. Oh, shit! Just got wasted by Skull Leader. Who's Skull Leader? The Omaha? <laughs> well done. Wow. Yeah, see? With three of us doing it, it was bound to happen that one of us would get the other one. Now, who dropped that smoke? It wasn't the Kuma. Oh, it was that little destroyer, but here's the Kuma coming up. Oh, come back. Reload fire rate. Torpedoes in the water. They're gonna be easy to dodge at that distance, plus... What? Oh, I thought he died because he disappeared. So we gotta hit to the Citadel. It, I found it's pretty easy to hit the Citadel of Akuma, I think. Wow. A little too far in front. Oh, let's thread these. Oh no. No! Wow. I was gonna be a little disappointed in myself. He got taken out. He did get some fish in the water. Let's see if the Farragut survives. He does not. This is a pretty intense battle. We've got a Cleveland sneaking around over there. But I'm gonna try to get me some Fuso. Switch to HE, might be able to light him on fire. So then he has to use a repair, and then hopefully, if I get some torpedo hits. But that's not good because I've got a Cleveland coming in there behind me. Ooh, maybe? Hmm. Oh shit! 
Be aware of your surroundings, Mr. Cleveland class, or Clemson class. We're on fire. He hit us. The ship is on fire. Oh good, we have a Cleveland. I need the Cleveland to hit this destroyer. Then I can run amok on this Fuso. Oh man, I don't I don't want to be dealing with Mr. Clemson. Yeah, good, we hit him. Now we just need to light him on fire. Reload rate. Oh, incoming shells. I may have turned right into them. We in front, behind, right on target. Lit him on fire. Nope, didn't lit him on fire. Just critically damaged him. He critically damaged us. Oh gosh. Smoke screens up, man. Screw this. Problem solved, sir. We gotta dump some torpedoes. Are, is my smoke screen up? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, he's firing blind now. Those were not accurate. Good. Enemy heavily damaged. All right, good. Now, hopefully he's gonna run into these. Hopefully he doesn't hit us with those. Yikes. Oh, he's turning. Those hits? Nice. Hey, Bowie. Clemson, or Cleveland, please defend me. He's firing fish, this Clemson is. Nice, got him. All right, now Enemy destroyer target the Fuso, who's distracted. Wow, I don't know, I thought, well, that was stupid. Me on this repair was bad. Problem solved, sir. Come on, let's light him up. Gotta watch out for the Omaha's shells, but hopefully he's distracted too. Please kill that cleave. I, I ate most of his HP. Oh, we're firing AP again? Does it switch? Was that me? Huh. But I want to definitely torpedo this guy. Alright, so my have a range of what, five? So we're slightly in range. We could definitely, he's gonna be dead to guns. Yep, that was stupid. Hmm. Omaha 6.6 kilometers away. Not not a good situation to have. He's a cruiser. He's a destroyer killer. It's his job, man. He's about to kill me. But he's turning in. Perfect. Ooh, can we survive, though? We gotta get out of here. 1,700 damage. Not bad, just not great. And we need great shots right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No smoke screen. Torpedoes hit. One of them hit. Oh man, that's not good. Torpedoes sound like they're reloading right now. Which side? Oh gosh. Got 2,000 health left. 1700. Oh, a citadel shot. Someone else is shooting at me. Oh, a Fuso got me. Wow, they're capping that one that one Cleveland. Did we do enough? I don't think we did enough, honestly, to pull this one out. If I would have seen that, I gotta I gotta I was suffering from tunnel vision, guys. Yeah, that's not good. That Phoenix is gonna get taken out. And these guys are just all out of position. And there's someone capping, and you know what? It's a defeat right there, ladies and gents. You will not believe what's happening. Someone, f I think the cruiser over there, Flavrin, Flarvin in his Phoenix, hit this guy, reset the cap when it was so close. We're, and Flavrin just, or Flarvin just gave his life. Reset the cap. So assuming this guy, Mr. Akin, in the Fuso,
can just see him. Oh, and his scout plane's headed over. I mean, it is in the area. Why isn't he popping up, dude? We really, really need that. This is a nail biter. You gotta love when games end up like this. They're almost a 50% capped. This guy's going in. He's got two turrets on the front. The other two battleships are a little out of position, but they will be engaging that Fuso. They've got great health. A Congo and a Fuso should be fine. This Cleveland. Okay, it's a Cleveland. So he's gonna be fast maneuverable. But if he gets hit once, it'll reset the cap. Not reset it, but it'll dock it down a lot. But this guy's got a 30 second fire rate, so he. Oh, and he's firing salvos, man. He should be firing. Just, oh, I don't know if I agree with that. Yes! Hey, but it works, man. It may not be what I would have done, but he is making it work. I think we're going to pull this one out from the jaws of defeat, ladies and gents. I think this Fuso can take out that Cleveland. Yeah, he's getting the hits, resetting the cap. He's got the health. He's got the guns, and this Cleveland doesn't seem to be hitting, even though he's got an impressive fire rate. He may be dealing with a lot of onboard damage. No hit. Oh, no. One of those hit. Enough to reset. So, how far are those guys? They do have a carrier left. But it's only dive bombers and fighters, it looks like. I haven't seen any torpedo bombers come out. So this guy just needs to get in close. Finish off that Cleveland. And I'm curious to see how good my score is. We got three Citadel shots, four critically damaged. One sunk, um, a torpedo, and a flooding. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to, like, get the kill. I think we got killed by maybe an Omaha. Anyway, we were running around near the enemy's cap point. And I think, actually, it was a battleship, I think, finished us off. Cleveland's still missing, and this, this Fuso is just rocking it right now. Accuracy for days. And But with six turrets, man... You're going to have a lot of opportunities. He's going for the kill, though. Yeah, I think I think we got this one in the bag, man. The other Fuso's running. Our Fuso's going to cap. I'm not sure what that Congo's doing. Just kind of hanging out. Dude, still getting these hits, Mr. Fuso. Yeah, and that Cleveland's like, man, I got to run. He, he probably should have ran earlier. But, come on, get the, get the final kill. There it is. Well done, ladies and gents. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the victory now because this Fuso is going to be able to guard this cap. That Fuso is going into the enemy cap. They've got a carrier out there somewhere with basically nothing. Whoa. That Fuso got targeted. Nice. Can't wait to see my score. So we were finished off by the Fuso. We did 20,000 damage with AP, 3,000 with HE, and of those AP, it looks like 27 penetrated. Only one torpedo hit, but it was pretty good. Good enough for top half. But getting knocked out by a tier 6 Fuso, man, that's, we were right in the mix of it. Had three shots to the Citadel. Overall, pretty fun. Um, my personal preference as far as destroyers goes is usually leaning towards the Japanese because they got better torpedoes. And dumping off lots of torpedoes. Well, let's look at the tech tree though of American destroyers. Farragut is next. The Mayhan is one that I'm really excited to get just because it's it's a star in a book series that I really like called the Destroyer Men. Let's see. Man. How good are these torpedoes? What is the range? 6.4 kilometers. Let's see, stock, 4.5 kilometers, but 65 knots speed. Here, 6.4 kilometers at 64 knots speed. So these torpedoes actually start to get pretty decent. The stock ones are yikes, man. They're fast, but that range, you gotta dump them off so close. It's rough, man, American torpedoes. Let's see. At the top, the Fletcher, tier 9, not the top obviously, but pretty close to it. 8.2 kilometers range, but rather slow speed. Oh, here it is, man. 
Finally, getting some good torpedoes. 10.5 kilometers range, 66 knot speed. And then we'll look at the top of all of it, the gearing. Mark 17 torpedoes, 16.5 kilometer range and 66 knot speed. Now look at this bad boy, man. Let's check out the artillery. Three doubles here. So one in the front, or one in the back, two in the front. What's the anti-aircraft like? You know what? This thing's pretty pretty good for anti-aircraft, man. It's got Bofors, Orlicons. Nice, man. And then it counts the primaries. I guess they're dual purpose, but like you can't manually shoot. I'd say that's pretty pretty decent for any aircraft, man. But I cannot wait to get all those all those ships, man. I can't wait for open beta. I just wanna like I feel like I'm definitely gonna be dropping a lot of money on this game. Gonna be pretty excited. So we definitely want What do we want really? Torpedoes. Torpedoes. We're gonna give them torpedoes. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button, share the video with a friend. I'll see you guys soon.